How do you calculate the cost for a 3D print like this Benchy or the other things on this table? In this video, I'll talk about all the aspects you should take into your calculation and you'll get a free cost calculation tool to make this much easier. So why figure out how much a print costs? I did this for the first time when friends and family started to ask me to 3D print a few things for them and I wanted to know what I actually pay for my 3D prints so that I could at least charge them for my own costs. Later, I also started to offer print on demand to customers and I had to become even more accurate and get away from just guessing the cost to knowing the cost. So we'll do this exercise using this Benchy as an example because you know everyone loves printing Benchies just for the sake of it. Let's talk about the cost factors that should make it into your calculation. First, there is of course the cost of the raw material, the filament that is used for the print. All slicer programs will tell us how much filament gets used after the slicing has been done. Our example Benchy print will use estimated 13 grams of filament. Now we need the price of one fresh spool of filament that we'll use to print this. In my case the spool costs 24 euro including shipping and it has 800 grams of filament on it. So let's divide 24 by 800 and we'll know what one gram costs 3 cent. Our print has 13 grams multiplied with 0.03 euro, which means the raw material will cost 0.39 euro. The next number we need is how long is the print going to take? Why? Well, because your printer consumes energy and we should know how much are the energy costs for this print. Let's take that number, 1 hour 52 minutes, which is 112 minutes. We pay 28 euro cents per kilowatt hour of energy. We should also figure how much energy the printer uses when it's running, so let's attach a power meter and see what is the power consumption. This Ender 3 Pro, while printing and heating, consumes about 270 to 290 watt peak and 60 watt at the low end. A longer measurement got me to an average of about 180 to 190 watt, maybe even slightly higher, for a PLA print. So let's take a conservative estimation of 200 watt, but your measurements might differ. I just advise you to monitor the overall power consumption over a longer period and build the average. So per hour, the printer is using 200 watt hours. This divided by 1000 is 0.2 kilowatt hours. Multiply this with our energy price of 0.28 euro. We know it costs 0.056 euro per hour. Divide that by 60 and we know it costs 0.00093 euro per minute. Multiply that with 115 minutes for the print, we get an energy cost of 0.11 euro for this print. Now we have almost everything we need. We know the price of the material and the price for energy. Another factor you should add to the calculation is the depreciation of your printer. Why? Because at some point the printer will stop working, will be broken or will need some serious repairs. So we should make an assumption how long it will last and from that we'll derive what a minute of printing will cost. Let's assume the printer costs overall 500 euros, that's 200 for the printer and 200 for upgrades and 100 euro for maintenance material during its lifetime. We'll assume the lifetime of this printer is 2000 hours of active usage. That's just an assumption but reflects my experience and some other market standards for printer lifetime I found on the internet. So let's take the 500 euro divided by 2000 and then divided by 60 minutes. So we know per minute this device loses 0.004 euro of value. Multiply that by 115 minutes for the print and we'll have 0.48 euro of depreciation. Let's add up the numbers. Note that all these values are rounded to two digits. This print costs 0.39 euro for the material. 0.11 euro for the energy and 0.48 euro for the printer usage. Which means we have a total of 0.98 euro for this print. As promised, I have put all of this in a simple Google spreadsheet, which I've linked down in the video description, so you can use it and modify it to your needs. You just have to enter the values we've just discussed, so cost of the printer goes here, the average lifetime and the power usage in what. That together with the price per kilowatt hour, will give you the printer's cost per minute. The material cost per spool and weight of spool go here and that gives you the cost per gram. And in this area you enter weight of the print and time to print and you'll have your final result. 
I have also linked my much more sophisticated calculation sheet for business owners and people with multiple printers in that spreadsheet. It's also linked down in the description. That one has been derived from CNC Kitchen's calculation sheet. I'll talk about that in another video, how to calculate 3D printing costs and markup for business. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please hit the like button and maybe check out another video from my channel here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.